Oh my god, look at that camber right there, buddy. Oh, a cannon. Not even close. Um, I need to see your train tickets. This is war, Mitchell. Take this bad Larry all the way down. The BF Weevil can be found on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Um, the full price is 870000 If you want to get it for 652000 you have to complete all of Kai and Mulsk's, um request for VIP, CEO, whatever you want to do it under. Um, but you have to, basically you have to spend a lot more money in order to get this um, at that price. Because you have to buy the submarine, which is $2.2 million. So you're probably going to be better off just getting the car. Um, I don't really want to get into all of the um, the new missions as it is. Wow, this really does look like a beetle. How did they get away with this? I mean, the front, the front's iffy. It, it, the hood's a little weird, but they have to do that so they don't get sued to shit. Um, I have been asking for a regular Volkswagen Beetle on this game for a very long time. Because they have the BF Injection, um, which I'll throw a picture up in case people don't know that car by the name. Um, I had that a couple times, but I was like, it's rusty, the interior looks like crap, um, and I want to get this vehicle done to look actually decent. I haven't even seen any of the customization for this. So I'm going to be seeing all the customization with you guys. Um, so I will see you guys when we get to uh, the mod shop. Okay, we're here. Actually, all joking aside, this handled pretty good. Obviously, top speed is not great. These things had like 95 horsepower in real life. Uh, brand new. Or wait. 95. It might have been 50. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Okay, I am... I think I'm going to skip armor and stuff for now. I'm only going to do visual stuff that, like, obviously, like, non-window tint, engine upgrade, stuff like that. Um, okay, let's start with bumpers, front bumper. I hope they have, like, the rounded one. We have bumper delete, which is, I believe, how some of these were in the 1940s. Like, they just came like that, I believe. Uh, plastic splitter, primary splitter... Secondary splitter, carbon splitter, no bumper and primary splitter, no bumper and secondary splitter, um, no bumper and carbon splitter, extended bull bar. Oh my god, you could probably make this into a better BF injection. The buggy bull bar, oh my god, Baja bull bar, injection bull bar, chrome extended bull bar, chrome buggy bull bar, chrome Baja bull bar. <laughs> Chrome injection bull bar. Okay, so it's mostly... Oh. Okay, I'm going to actually... I want to make this look like Herbie, but I don't know if there's going to be a um, an option to do that. Um, I really wish the bumpers... Um, if I could throw a picture up. I wish they didn't have the Super Beetle style bumpers. I wish it had, like, the... What is it? 1964-65 bumpers. Those are the ones that I really like. Okay, now on the rear bumpers, we got rear bumper delete, plastic rear bumper, injection rear cage. Oh, I actually like that. Uh, buggy rear cage, Baja rear cage, chrome injection rear cage, chrome buggy rear cage, chrome Baja rear cage, and that is it. I like a lot of these because these remind me more of um the bf injection it's not not the same do not say it's the same because it absolutely isn't um the injections from uh vice city they are like it reminds me more of them than the injection that's on here especially that one um engine skip that it, actually engine might have no it doesn't i was thinking it might have visuals for the top like just the um rocker covers or something okay now on to exhaust we have stock which looks burnt <laughs> chrome exhaust uh big bore exhaust upswept exhaust 
Um, what I believe the upswept is actually closer to the real life version, not that upswept, like a little less, um, but closer to the real life version. Um, central exhaust that just pushes them together. Upswept, upswept central exhaust. Uh, baby stinger, one right in the middle. Big boar stinger, upswept stinger, side stinger. Ah, that would go good with the injection rear end. I might buy a second beetle. I might. Mega stinger. Mega side stinger. Dude, this is awesome. I actually... I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, fenders. Oh, okay. That right there. Right there. The 6465. I love, like, the eyelash look. Or not eyelash. Like, the eyelid over the top. Um... Headlight hoods, wire stone guards, uh, blackout covers. That looks really weird. He looks upset. Um, front arch extensions. Okay, I don't care for them. Carbon fenders, chopped fenders. Dude, you can make this into a much better BF injection. Like, get rid of that shit. We don't need it in the game anymore. We really don't. Primary chopped fenders, carbon chopped fenders, fender delete. Yeah, if you did the fender delete, I'm sure there's going to be a fender delete on the rear. You could do, like, the real back-in-the-day, um, like, beetle, or, uh, buggies. What? Oh, the hood. Secondary, carbon, fog light hood. That looks really dumb. Secondary, fog light, and carbon. I don't like the headlights shoved in the hood like that. Like, I like them mounted the bumper, just not shoved in like that. Adventure kit. Oh, that's cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm buying a second one. I don't care if it's $800,000. Almost nine hundred. dollars Livery. Let's see if we can get any decent ones. Hot rod flames, of course. You don't even need them. You just drive fast enough. Uh, purple flames. Uh, backyard camo. Arid camo. BF cup car. Right there is is probably as close as we're gonna get to Herbie. Um, ah, oh, you bitches! <laughs> Stronzo Racing, Evil Weevil. Let's see all around that barn find. I mean, that could be like a different version of Herbie. Forgotten race car. So this, okay, this is basically the old version of Herbie, and then. What is it? Purple Flames? No, it's not Purple Flames. What one is it? That one. BF Cup Car. That's probably... Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Love Machine instead of Love Bug. This will unlock when you complete all of the requests seen by Dave. I don't really want it, so you can have it. Um... I don't really have to say all the names of these. As long as you guys see the ones that you end up wanting to get. I think I'm going to have to go with this one. But at the same time, I might just do like the beetle look like I have on Gran Turismo Sport. Just like that lighter blue. Uh, I have to do this. Always, always, always. Um, respray. So it's, what is considered the primary? Okay, so all the chrome right now is the primary area, and the secondary is going to be all the white below that. I know that's important to some people. Roll cage. Um, no roll cage, half cage, which is only going to be the back seats. Half cage with sport seats. Uh, half cage with street seats. Full cage, or would that be a full cage? Yeah, that'd be a full cage. Full cage with drift seats. Full cage with drag seats. Full cage with race seats. And cage with carbon seats. Uh, roof. No, I'm not a dog. Um, <laughs> okay, so you can get a sun strip. A secondary stunt strip. Or sun strip, not stunt. A vintage rack. Seaside getaway. getaway that's just luggage on the rack. Tire rack, that's decent. Oh, off-road rack. Dude, I'm going to make an off-road uh, beetle. I don't care. I'm doing it. Off-road rack with a surfboard, with a different surfboard, and yet another surfboard, and then another, another, 
another, another, another. You can just pick whatever type of surfboard your heart desires. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to turn one of these into like a classic, like white wall, nice, just color driving around. And another one's going to be an off-road monster. And actually, after I do all of the, uh, after I do all the customization showing you guys, I'm going to probably make the off-road one. Okay, so you, side skirts. We have stock, the basic uh, running boards, which actually I believe came on like every beetle. Um, you can have chrome, primary, secondary, carbon, or the off-road kit with the gas tank on the side. I like that. I like that a lot. Spoilers. Primary race wing, carbon race wing, primary drag wing, carbon drag wing, and extreme arrow wing. Holy hell. Uh, suspension. Can we go up at all? I would like... Oh my god, look at that camber right there, buddy. Jesus. That's a bit much. That is not racing suspension. You know how fast your tires are going to wear if it was real? Very fast. Uh, that's about it. Um, so that's going to be it for the people who wanted to know what there is to do. Now I'm going to go through and waste all of my money on actually making this into an off-road rig. Now, if I was doing the car all original and not making it an off-road version, I would have definitely made the entire car that same color blue. Um... Was there anything at all with the roll cages that really changed? Nothing on the outside. I feel like there's something missing. I'm gonna have to take this to go get a thumbnail and I might actually just start making my way up Chilead. Okay, the thing I know I forgot was hood accessories. I knew something was missing. We needed our shovel. Okay, I will have to say I, I'm gonna do like a little, like very little, um, testing on this car it doesn't handle great in the dirt it 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 understeers really really bad that being said i still love the car i do not care i love volkswagen beetles i've been waiting for one to be in this game that wasn't the bf injection i would like to see some kind of suspension add-on though where you can lift it and put like baja suspension instead of like just regular daily driving suspension and maybe bigger tires, but I don't know if that is something they'd be willing to add or not. I do, like, this is... I haven't felt this way about a car on GTA 5 in at least a couple years. Like, I... This is one of my all-time favorite cars, too. Hello. Um, I might end up changing the color of blue. I'm not really that fond of it now that it's getting dark out and I've had it for a minute. Um, still a very good car. It is a bummer though that I wish the lights on the roof rack or the uh, push bar would light up. Either or or even both would be nice. Have the ones on the uh, push bar as um, low beam and the ones on the roof as high beam because there's no headlights when you have it set up this way, which really sucks. Have I missed something? Do I not know the path anymore? I must not. We gotta go up a little more, that's the problem. I hope, yeah. We need to go up a little higher. I don't use that road anymore. It's been a long time since I played this, though, too. Um, <clears throat> Rear-wheel drive, engine at the back. Awesome. Awesome for handling on regular roads. Um, but it that would also make sense why it understeers on dirt roads. Because all the weight's at the back, and you're trying to steer, and there's not enough weight in the front to get you where you need to go. Um... But that is most likely going to be it for this episode. Not much more to talk about. I got her maxed out. I am going to buy another one. Um, 
I'll probably get the Willy's Jeep first, which I think is called a Winky, which is funny. <laughs> um, but that will probably be on a different episode. I want to get back into doing just the customization videos, not the testing. Um, because now they're actually adding decent vehicles that people actually want instead of um, the same exact car over and over in different forms. Um, wow, it made it. If it made it up here, it's going to make it all the way up. That's basically the rule of thumb. If it gets past that one turn, we're getting to the top. Um, but that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.